Great. Just as a trailhead, I already saw two bears. Oh my god, this is a grizzly. This is exactly the trailhead. I'm on my bike. I'm still walking my bike to the to reach the trail. And here we go. Bear number one. And a black bear or a black grizzly just ran away. It's kind of small though. So I don't know what to do now. My goal is, provided I can bypass this bear and the other bear, or how many there will be, to go on a cascade road, cascade fire road, and to eventually explore Explore this uh, biking road, and if I get a chance to climb something on the side, I'll do that. Yeah, it's grazing. It's grizzly. The other one, like I said, it was black, and it took off. He ran away behind that uh, brown bear in that direction. Yeah, another car stopped, so. I don't want to cause any traffic jam here. Still grazing, I really don't know what to do. I don't have any other options. What to wait? Too late now, it's gone. But, uh, he went behind that building. Yeah, he went on the left somewhere. But I bet. And finally, the rain stopped. It's already one o'clock. According to the report, it's supposed to stop at 12. But of course it's unreliable, so uh, I should uh, start my bike ride. I don't know why those bikers stop, maybe they saw the grizzlies too. I'm gonna ask them if I get a chance. Yeah, I'm on a mountain bike, on a cascade. I road heading for uh, the bridge according to Mateus a Brazilian I met previously 
that was like 500 meters back it was 3.6 kilometers from that point which would give me uh, around 3k 3 clicks to the campground apparently the bridge even a bit closer than that so yeah it's good uh, at least I saw those two bears further behind even on the way back I should be turning left before uh, the location hopefully they are not coming this way got a nice footage from uh, the grizzly but the black bear took off oh it's good it's a wide road it's a run off here no need to get wet Eventually I might at some point. Yeah, it was raining quite hard briefly for maybe an hour or one and a half. Uh, finally stopped. Who knows, it might start raining again later on. But uh, based on a weather report you shouldn't so my goal today in theory at least it's uh, Mount Elafus it's an isolated peak with no trip reports whatsoever on on the internet only on a bigbuck.com site there is a mentioned the location of this mountain and that's about it supposedly it's covered in a forest and uh, if you look, look how dense bush is it's gonna be a really difficult task to try to to bushwhack through it Finally some mountains, here's the pond Yeah, it's good speed here On the way back should be about the same Not much elevation uh, Lost and gain As you can see Yeah, so far uh, there were four on bikes on the way back Two guys and two ladies, one lady had a flat tire She said she got it uh, close to the end of this trail My start Probably she hit a sharp rock or something so I gotta be vigilant not to, to do the same mistake terrible yeah looks like uh, some water is flowing over the road here no big deal yeah I shall conclude here for now with my video Continue here my bike ride. Find 
the bird when he's chirping. I might feel it. I'm gonna stop for now feeling. <laughs> Yeah, it's kind of far. Very nice singing bird. I'm on a, it's a bridge. Visible uh, on the left turn there, the bridge across uh, Cascade Fire Road. And some again on a bird. That was a uh, 32 time zoom, so obviously not uh, enough. I mean, it's kind of far. I'm on the bridge now. seems pretty big so eventually if I will have to cross on the left side later on to go for a Lafus peak I might have a difficult task ahead of me it's gonna be it's way too big to be crossable that's for sure I could even climb their ridge. Huh. Yeah, so if I if I won't be able to climb a lapus, I might come back and be heading for this peak here. mountain ahead of me should be should be a, a doable scramble the one on the right as well have a odometer on my GPS here is a hill now I mean downhill and uh, up ahead a climbable mountain but my destination in 
theory would be the one on, uh, on its left It's another uh, mountain, the one I was referring to previously But uh, I believe I have to cross that river and I don't think it's crossable to be honest yeah, Let's see if I can film that bird They don't want to stay, stand still, they fly away Ridge, all covered in green, so climbing it would be a nice, uh, nice hike. Hike not on a scree, very fast. But now the question mark is: Am I gonna be able to? Across the creek. I just checked the GPS and uh, eventually this road is gonna make a left turn and another right turn. So hopefully that means it's going to be a bridge. That would be awesome. If that's a bridge. I have uh, high chances of making the summit or at least an attempt even so late in the day quarter to four o'clock which for me it's early <laughs> generally speaking it's, not, it's late but with the headlamps I'll be able to to return easily on this road very fast return yeah, a fast downhill now it's gonna be on the way back uphill obviously but it's not too bad good angle mountain obviously is far from this road it looks close but it's not maybe it's uh, who knows three kilometers or more to that mountain Yeah. Oh, I see. Now this looks like an intersection here. Awesome. 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 Oh yeah. Huh. Definitely looks like a campground. I see Canadian flag and a hut. Huh. I'm gonna go check it out. The 
warders come in here. It's from better. Now all I'm hoping for is a bridge across the creek. That would be awesome. I'm at the Stony Creek cabin just off a Cascade Fire Road in Banff I was riding a bike all the way to here and uh, the good news Two amazing peaks, doable. That's one. And another one that's doable. Will be uh, on a ridge line from the right side. And then even even the third one might be doable. So wow! For future trips, it's gonna be amazing. But now we'll have to see, uh, I'm wondering if this creek allows me to, it's on the left side of this peak, yeah it should be, so I won't need to cross the creek then, that's awesome, I'm gonna head for that peak, leave my bike someplace eventually. Amazing location. However, uh, the bike road ends here. As you can see, so I stuck my bike. That's uh, that will be an amazing destination for today. Of course, that one too. That one is way too high for me for today. No more time. So yeah, I came uh, from that direction. And uh, my bike, I'll leave it here. I don't see anybody will come by this way, let alone take it. Another bird. I wasn't able to feel more birds today. I was chasing a few, but they took off. I wasted like half an hour. Who knew there is even a bridge over there, so I have no more worries about crossing the creek, which is fantastic, and for future trips, there looks like one trip over there.
Today I will see if I can reach a ridge over there eventually. Give it a try. That's another trip. And probably another trip over there. It looks more tricky. I think it's doable. Yeah, fantastic. I'm continuing past that uh, warden's cabin. It's amazingly, it's an amazingly good trail here for bike riding. Even though it's not really like a gravel road, it's simply an opening. I cut off the trees and here you have the road. Beautiful uh, ridge up ahead. And on the left is that uh, peak I was mentioning previously. I just gotta go off my bike now. This sort of thing. I'm continuing on foot I, was, I should have eventually turned left on this side when I, I had a chance previously in order to reach that peak over there because here is all bush I was hoping there might be another uh, trail but so far there isn't and uh, I'm just gonna probably continue to the end here have a look at the panorama I wish it was still a bike rideable but it's not allowed on a bike here Plus it's interrupted previously. So, uh, yeah, I don't know. The day is kind of short. 5.17 p.m. I'll definitely ride on the way back in the dark with a headlamp. But I don't know how far can I reach today. Some high point. We'll see. I continued along uh, this road and uh, yeah, I can see for the first time the other creek. Looks quite big. It doesn't look crossable this time of year. It's too fast and most likely too deep. Uh, well, there are some beautiful, beautiful peaks. Must be extraordinary panoramas on the top. That one and that one. 
And uh, in this situation, my best choice for the day would be to to reach pretty much the other side to see what's on the other side from uh, the ridge, a grass ridge, because obviously to go higher. First of all, uh, yeah, it might be possible, but then again, uh, I don't have time. There is also another hill visible behind. But I'll feel me from further up. Continue here on a trail and trying to see. I could have already start ascending on the right, but if I go further, it's gonna be more hilly than rocky, so it's gonna be a, an easier option. However, uh, I don't know how far do I have to. Keep going to to reach a viable point uh, at my location right now. Uh, I still have to go a little bit. The good thing is there's lots of water here, sideways creeks like this one. I'm at a nice vantage point. My goal that I still uh, might be able to reach for today is to, to reach the shoulder because uh, up this way I won't get to see what's on the other side unless I reach about 25, 2600 meters and I'm I'm quite low now, I won't have time for it. I'm only at 18-24 meters. So yeah, my uh, initial destination in theory was uh, to reach probably that peak, but uh, from this venture point you can see the creek is really big, a river. To cross it uh, will be quite challenging. It might be possible, but it's not going to be fun for sure. And the bush The bush to get there is also quite dense. Not from this valley, from this valley it looks very well. From, uh, from the other, uh, from back there where I was intended to go initially, it's almost impossible. It's, too slow, too, too much brush. So yeah, beautiful scenery here. The road continues actually down below. 
I'm wondering if this section is not part of the, the road. It's hard to judge. I'm gonna have to take my uh, binoculars. Yeah. To be honest, that hill looks so nice. It would be nice to be able to summit it today, but it's too late at the moment. 6.30, so like I said, I might have a chance to reach the shoulder. We'll see. Yeah, unfortunately I only have a 10 seconds interval for my uh, for my GPS reset here, which is very fast. Let me try it again. Oh man, it's definitely too fast. Because the keyboard is gone. Elevation 22-21 Here above uh, Cascade Cascade Fire Road Trail This is uh, as far as I could reach today Even like this is very very late in the day but uh, Up. I have a long way to the bike and then uh, a long way with the bike. I'm gonna zoom on some uh, peaks. Yeah, everywhere you go, you are blocked by the next ridge, so you won't see anything in more details unless you go up high. But it's definitely no time for that. It's not gonna be light and it's not gonna be my own time. Do my best zooming on uh, peaks visible from here. As I will have to do for the day. Yes, I Google Earth. Somehow I, I removed that uh, keyboard that would uh, set my reset time for a higher number. I could only put it for 10 seconds and I can hardly do that for any use. Yeah, the sun is ahead uh, in my direction, so I don't know how these mountains are going to come out. That ridge is nice to, to do one day, for sure, in the middle. The other ones are blocked by the river down below. Unless I find a bridge. So yeah, I came uh, from far, far there.
last slope that was my highest point continuing I have to be fast but careful so uh, I'm making good progress so I'll try to leave a trail on a pretty much almost straight line here it's gonna be easier to walk on a trail obviously even if it's a bit uh, it might be elevation but I don't think I don't think it will be Back on a trail, that will be the peak for the next time and uh, my higher, my highest point of the day was somewhere over there And now, the long slog to my bike and the long bike ride to the parking lot. Thanks for watching.